are the only one responsible for believing in your dream. You are the only one responsible for believing in your dream. It is not going to make sense to other people. Other people, not everyone's going to support you. Not everyone's going to understand. People are going to doubt you. They're going to judge you, whatever. The only thing required for your dream to happen is your belief in it. You're the only one who needs to understand it. You're the only one who needs to see the vision of it. Other people can't see that. That's why they're not going to believe in it as strongly as you do. And they don't need to. Your belief is the only one required. You are the only one responsible for believing in your dream. <laughs> it's not going to make any sense. It's not going to feel logical. It didn't make any sense for me to quit my accounting job before I was even a certified personal trainer to start a fitness coaching business when I had zero experience in fitness. That, didn't, that was not logical. No logical person would make that decision, right? No logical person would have invested the amount of money I invested in a life coach compared to the amount of money I had in my bank account. Like, it's not based on logic. So if you could have anything, if there were no restrictions, if you could have the dream job, your dream life, what do you want, right? Just thinking about what you want and then when you observe all of the thoughts that come up that tell you why you can't have that, why it's not realistic, why you could never do that. That's your ego. That's your ego. It's not your highest self. It's your ego. Your ego is the one who is telling you um, you're not going to make enough money doing that. You can't quit your job because um, you won't have stable income. You're not good enough. Who are you to coach people? Uh, what else comes up? All the, you know, the self-doubt, the imposter syndrome, the what are people going to think? All of those fears, all the anxiety, all the doubts. That's your ego. That's your inner mean girl. What if you don't make enough money through coaching or whatever you're doing, your business, to support yourself? Like, that's a real fear. So let's go there. What if you don't? What if you start your business and you don't make enough money? What would you do? <laughs> like, actually, think about it. What would you do? Because the thing is, you would figure it out. You're not just going to let yourself be homeless and live on the streets, you would figure it out if you needed to. You would get creative, you would get resourceful, you would find other streams of income. Like you can get another corporate job, you can get one or more than one part-time job if you need to supplement your income. You could lose your job at any moment, like you could be laid off, you don't know what's gonna happen, right? What would you do if you lost your job right now? Like you would get creative, you would figure it out. And so a lot of times our brain, our ego, just gets so wrapped up in this fear and we think it would be the end of the world, like we think it's life or death to not be making a certain amount of money. But the truth is, you'd be good, like you'd figure it out. Scarcity mindset is the idea that money can run out, that it's limited, that there's not enough to go around, that it's hard to make money. And abundance mindset is Money is an unlimited resource, it can't run out, which is fucking true. Like there's always more than enough to go around. There are infinite ways to make money. There are infinite ways to make money. <laughs> there is no scarcity of money, of income streams. It's just not true. Money starts flowing to you in unexpected ways when you raise your vibration around money. And then it also comes in the practical ways of when you understand that money is not limited, you're going to be doing more things to create more streams of income for yourself. And the combination of that is just fucking magical. The thing is, if you internalize every time you put yourself out there and it doesn't go well and let it feed into this imposter syndrome cycle, it's going to keep you stuck forever. Like it's not about you. It doesn't mean anything about you when you put yourself out there, when you send an email and don't get any responses back. It doesn't mean anything about you when you make a post on Instagram and like two people like it and no one really cares. It doesn't mean anything about you if you put an offer out there and no one DMs you. It doesn't mean anything about you at all. The thing for me was like, who are you here for, you know? Are you here for Karen from high school who's gonna judge you for posting a workout video on Instagram? Are you here for the people in the gym who might give you weird looks if you're filming yourself? Or are you here for the people you want to serve? Are you here for your potential clients? Are you here for the people 
who you have a solution to their problem, who the, pe the people who you want to help, the people who you can help them transform their lives. That's who you're here for. The people who are going to judge you are just, they're not, they're not who you're doing this for. They're irrelevant. But the thing is, if you don't really believe in yourself, in your own abilities as a coach or as whatever it is that you want to be, that piece of paper isn't actually going to even make you feel validated. You're still going to feel like a fraud. I had my personal training certification and I still felt like I wasn't qualified to be coaching people online. So it's like we don't show up because we don't feel like the expert, but then no one's going to see us as an expert because we're not showing up and it's just a cycle. Like We are breaking this bullshit cycle today. It's craziness. If you have an offer that you're obsessed with and a really aligned price point and that confidence in yourself and that belief in um, your product or service what the thing that you're selling then selling will feel easy and fun it will not feel annoying it will not feel pushy it will not feel stressful it will not feel like you're taking people's money it will feel like you are doing the world a disservice by not talking about what you have to offer who is the big winner of this transaction is it me because I'm getting five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or however much many dollars or is it my client whose life is going to be fucking transformed forever true transformation cannot happen for free like there has to be an exchange there has to be an exchange of energy and that is what happens when you like put money down and invest in yourself and if you're not if you're underpricing your services or you're doing things for free you're robbing people of that opportunity to commit to themselves to invest in themselves to say fuck this is scary but I'm gonna do it anyway because I believe in myself. Your friends and family, if they truly care about you, that's why they're concerned. That's why they are voicing their opinions about, are you sure you're gonna make enough money doing that? Are you sure this is a good idea? Like, they're gonna voice their concerns because they care about you. Like, it's coming from a place of love. They wanna protect you. They wanna make sure you're safe and you can support yourself in all things, which is great. Like, appreciate them for that. Know that it's coming out of love and know that it's also coming from them projecting their own limiting beliefs onto you. They're not going to understand it. You're the only one who needs to understand it. You don't have to like cut people off because they are concerned about what you're doing and they have questions about it and they don't understand it and they are like doubtful of you. I don't believe that at all. Because the thing is, it's only going to feel toxic. It's only going to trigger you if some part of you your ego believes what they're saying right <laughs> like they are fully okay to believe whatever they believe entrepreneurship is the greatest journey of self-development you will ever go on it will bring up any limiting belief that you have and i truly believe that your business is a manifestation of of what's going on in your life personally and in your mind um, so if there's any limiting beliefs that you haven't worked through, they're gonna show up in your business. And like, yes, the practical shit matters, but the practical things that you're doing are not gonna matter as long as you still have all of these limiting beliefs behind it all, right? Like it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna matter what you're doing until you address these limiting beliefs and all these crazy stories that your ego is telling you and holding you back. Because you can have like a perfect marketing strategy, you can have a perfect sales strategy, but if you don't feel like you are good enough to have clients, then you're not going to show up and with confidence and attract clients to you. So it doesn't really matter if you have the perfect strategies, if you're not going to show up with the right energy.